My name is Adrián Padilla. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an auto-scalable WebLogic domain using Oracle WebLogic Server for OCI, which is an application available in the Oracle Marketplace. You may wonder why auto-scaling is important. Well, imagine that you have a WebLogic domain, which is capable of serving your application for, let's say, 200 requests per second. But what if you get 400 requests per second? Your application may get overloaded and even crash. And what if on the contrary, you only get 50 requests per second? Then your system is underutilized and you're paying for resources that you don't even require. Auto scaling allows you to react in real time to the workloads for your application. When data, the workloads are high, there will be more nodes to serve your application. Therefore, you will be able to serve all these uh, spikes on requests. And when the application workloads are low, your application cluster is going to be reduced, reducing costs for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Okay, first thing to do is go to Marketplace, click on All Applications, now Filter by WebLogic. Now these are many offering so you filter by the type which is the stack and let's select WebLogic Server Enterprise Edition. And here I'm just going to leave the defaults, click Launch Stack. Again I'm going to leave the defaults, provide only the requested fields. Uh, Going to provide an SSH key. Secret location for my WebLogic password. I'm going to create an UBCN. recommended to use a public reserve at public IP for the Bastion instance and a load balancer so that the workload is balanced across the existing nodes and I'm going to configure observability these are the options available to configure in observability we have uh, integration with OCI login service and integration with application performance monitoring when you select application performance monitoring, auto scaling is visible then. In order to provide this OSIT, you need, to, you need to go to application performance monitoring. And from here, you can just get the OSIT right here and then go back and put it like this. Now you have to provide the private data key which is used so that the instances running WebLogic server is able to publish metrics to the APM domain. In case you create custom data keys or modified um, existing ones, these are the default data keys generated, but you can choose to create new data keys you just need to provide the name of this data key to be used in here. This has to be the private data key. And then you can enable auto scaling. For auto scaling, we enable multiple metrics. We just show these four metrics during provisioning. However, after provisioning, you can use multiple WebLogic metrics to generate your own alerts. In this case, I'm going to be using CPU load and minimum threshold to fire uh, scale in. It's gonna be 10% maximum above 80%. I'm gonna be invoking scale out. These actions are performed by um, scaling functions that we deliver and configured uh, for you. So all you have to do is to provide an OCIR user and authentication token 
provide an email and launch the stack. That's all required. Now the provisioning has finished, as you can see, it took a bit, you know, around 10 minutes. You can go to the stack that was created and click on edit. And in here, we will be able to change some interesting uh, properties. See that this is a BYOL stack offering. So this option that I'm going to show you is only available for WebLogic Server for CI BYOL. In this case, given that you have licenses, you have selected BYOL, bring your own license. You need to bring the WebLogic license and support contract. But if, if you ran out of licenses, let's say you only have a license to run one WebLogic Server, right? Or in one OCPU, but you want to extend WebLogic Server. So you can choose to extend with universal credit image. This image, does not require you to bring a WebLogic license, but you will be billed. You will be uh, billed for every OCPU per hour that you use in any compute instance for any node created. So in this case, I'm going to be using uh, the UCM image of WebLogic Server Enterprise Edition for scale out. And what this will be causing is that the existing node is going to be backed up with a license, but the new nodes, any new uh, node after this, first note, it's going to be using the paid image. I just need to click on accept terms of use, click on next and save changes. Now I'm going to show you the alarm definitions. Uh, you, we create two alarm definitions, one for scale out and one for scale in. And these alarm definitions are configured out of the box to consume from the Oracle APM monitoring namespace. Um, the, there are multiple metrics that you can use. As I mentioned during provisioning, we only show four, but you can actually use almost any metric available in uh, WebLogic. We are configuring from uh, one minute interval and we are doing the dimension for the entire cluster. If the cluster has multiple instances, this metric is gonna take care of doing the, you know, um, the overall consumption metric. So if the overall cluster workload is above 80% and it lasts for five minutes, it's gonna be firing this alarm and this alarm is configured to send a notification to this topic, which is configured to send or fire the functions called a scale out function. This scale out function is taking care of going to resource manager and increase the number of nodes in your web logic domain. And then resource manager will take care of creating a new compute instance, sending an email to you as a notification if you registered your email address during provisioning. And once it's finished, you will get another notification that the auto scaling has finished, right? So um, as you can see, this instance has been run working for a while. I'm going to send now the increase the workload so that you can see auto, auto, automatically scaling out. Now, after five minutes, the alarm is getting triggered. See, one, two, three, four, five. And then the alarm is getting triggered. 
you go to alarm status, you will see that there is one alarm getting triggered. This is the alarm getting fired. This is the notification email that I get because the scale out has been triggered. Now, if we go to the uh, stack details, we see that there is an auto scale out job being running. And these has already succeeded now. So now if we go back and check our cluster, now we go to servers and there you go. We see a new managed server that is already running. And now let's go to see the workload. And the workload is now decreasing thanks that these uh, work getting shared by multiple nodes. So this is basically the demo of a scale out. Now do reduce or terminate the workload that I am producing. And we will see that the number of workload or the, the workload being shown here is going to go to zero because I'm going to stop all the workload that I'm sending to this cluster. And eventually that will fire up the scaling to show that. So we'll go back to scaling to alarm definition and then check for scale in. As we see, um, you know, it's when the mid, the workload was high, there is no notification sent. But when this goes below 10%, it's going to be sending a notification for scaling. When the scaling happens and, uh, you know, there is uh, a minimum number of nodes, like one in this case, it's a no op operation. So there will be nothing to happen. And it is configured to repeat the notification every 30 minutes to be scaling down. This is something that you can configure in the um, alarm definition. So let's give it some time to finish. Now that it has happened uh, five minutes after the workload went below 10%. Um, the scaling notification happens. You get a notification email that scaling is happening. And uh, if we go to jobs here, and here is the scaling job, and it's gonna be moving. Kind of fast forward now. So oh, after some time, finally the scaling finish the resource manager. Let's see, we have the scale out job, scaling job. So if now we go back to the administrative console from WebLogic, we refresh, we see that we have a single managed server and proving this is automatically getting scale out and scaling uh, depending on the workload that you have in your cluster. 